Welcome to my guide on managing the rare resource, Dracos, in the tower defense game, another Eidos of Dragonvein R. Dracos, akin to gold, play a vital role in empowering your characters through various means such as leveling up, increasing proficiency, and ranking up. However, acquiring and using Dracos efficiently can be a daunting task. Today we'll explore all the avenues to obtain Dracos and master its optimal usage. Let's begin. Let's start with the different ways of obtaining Dracos. You can earn Dracos just by logging in, receiving 50,000 Dracos per month. History quests with Dracos as rewards grant 500 Dracos for every 10 stamina used, making it roughly 50 Dracos per point of stamina. Events present an opportunity to earn Dracos, but the rewards differ. The Viva El Presidente event only offers 200 to 220 Dracos per quest, while the Day and Night in Pays Blanc event gives 1,000 to 1,800 Dracos. Erotic Wrestling provides 1,000 to 2,500 Dracos, and every other event gives 1,000 to 2,000 Dracos. The most cost-effective event seems to be the third one, Erotic Wrestling, granting about 100 Dracos per stamina point. However, the Raise Funds quest in the Exploration section reigns as the most reliable source, offering 3,500 Dracos for 17 stamina, approximately 200 Dracos per stamina point used. Nevertheless, during certain events, like the current one named Bright Summer Fest, you can earn special items. Right now, the ones that you can obtain are called Admission Wristbands. For each stamina point spent on the event quest, you will earn one Admission Wristband. Therefore, by using 100 stamina points, you'll gain 100 Admission Wristbands, exchangeable for 100,000 Dracos, up to a maximum of 5 times. After reaching this limit, you will only be able to get 10 Dracos per item, making it less valuable than farming Dracos in the exploration section. However, do not forget to claim other useful items with those admission wristband, such as Edgar's freebie ticket, battle records 4, Staminade, skip tickets, and so on. Now let's delve into using Dracos efficiently. When upgrading a character, remember that his statistics increase linearly while XP and battle record requirements grow exponentially. For example, leveling up Anima from level 1 to 2 costs only 220 Dracos for one battle record. This will be granting an increase of 6 health point and 1 attack. However, leveling up from 78 to 79 costs a staggering 24,860 Dracos for marginal gains of 7 health point and 1 attack, which is about the same but 113 times more expensive. Instead of focusing solely on maxing out one character, consider leveling almost every character in your team simultaneously, but while prioritizing key team members at the same time. Keep 4 or 5 essential characters 10 to 15 levels above others. If you only have a few 6 stars or 5 stars, I would recommend prioritizing them because they usually have more value than 4 or 3 stars. Here are a few characters I would recommend to a new player. Firstly, the main character, he is really decent possesses a great range as a melee character, and has a nature effect that buffs every ally's unit with plus 5% attack and defense. Secondly, I would recommend Baran. His attack range is amazing, and his skill increases his attack for 50% until leaving the battlefield. Next we have Leonhardt, an amazing character with great damage, OP skill and nature, and a really good attack speed. He should be at least a 5 stars. Another good unit is Ragnar. His statistics are decent for a vanguard, but his strength resolves in his ability to provide cost thanks to his skill, and most importantly, his ability to provide healing to every single vanguard in the battlefield thanks to his nature. The two Barbaros, obtainable thanks to the story, can also be useful. Finally, one honorable mention to a character that I've, I've relied on from the start, Theodore. He possesses incredible self-healing abilities and can defeat entire enemy lines on his own. His trait allows him to heal by dealing damage, but makes him unable to be targeted by ally healers. While he rarely needs any support at all, there are still ways to heal him indirectly. For example, Edgar's skill is able to heal one close ally without targeting them specifically. Placing him next to Theodore will make Edgar able to heal Theodore and increase his defense while Edgar can target flying enemies. On top of that, Edgar can also be placed on high ground, making it really easy for them both to be placed close to each other and carry you to victory. 
Now let's talk about the character's proficiency. I would recommend avoiding it as it consumes a lot of gold with minimal benefits. This is probably the worst way of upgrading your characters. Finally, when you will be able to promote your key characters, they'll return to level 1 while retaining their statistics. This allows you to upgrade them again from level 1, which will cost just a few gold. However, there is a catch to it. Firstly, ranked up characters will require more XP than usual to level up. To get from level 1 to level 2, it normally costs 100 XP. However, ranked up characters will need 170 XP. Therefore, to get your character from level 1 to 50, it will cost around 57,000 XP and 62,000 Dracos instead of the 24,000 XP and 27,000 Dracos required before ranking up. Secondly, ranking up your character will increase the max level limit, which is 80 for 6 stars characters, 70 for 5 stars, 60 for 4 stars, 55 for 3 stars, and 50 for 2 stars. Fortunately, skill upgrades do not require gold. Utilize event items and exploration quests to upgrade skills freely. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide to managing Dracos efficiently in another Eidos of Dragonvein R. Make the most of this rare resource to enhance your characters and dominate the battlefield. Thank you for watching.